Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn a workaround for embedding a YouTube video into PowerPoint 2013 presentation. Now let's say I want to embed my uh, PowerPoint presentation here in the centre and traditionally we would use embed code from YouTube to do this. Now currently there are some problems with that option working so I want to show you a workaround using what's called the developer tools in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, these aren't available by default in our PowerPoint, so the first thing to do is we've got to switch on the developer tools. So, go to the file menu, and down along the left-hand side, scroll right down to the end until you see options, so click on options. And this brings up the PowerPoint options window, which I put to the centre here. Down along the left-hand side, you'll see there are several options. The one we need is customise ribbon, and this shows you all the menus that you have in PowerPoint and so on. The area that you need to look at is the right hand window over here and if you look closely you'll see that almost everything is checked except the developer option here so that's unchecked so um, if, if it's checked already you're okay but check, make sure that that's checked and click OK. And when we come back then to our PowerPoint uh, workspace we will see that up at the top a developer ribbon has now appeared. So when I select that we can see that we've got several options over here. Um, there's lots and lots of stuff here. These are basically used by um, developers. So, but we want to just use one of these tools here. Now in the controls section here in the center, there is a more controls option here. So select that. And this will bring up a long list of uh, other controls that you can add. So we're not interested in many of those. Scroll down towards the end until you see the one called shockwave flash object. So select that and click OK. What this does then, it brings up a little crosshairs, which you can see in the center of the screen here. So I'm just going to click with my left mouse button and create a box here. And this is where I want my video inserted. And this inserts an object here, which looks like the back of an envelope. Now, it doesn't know yet what the uh, YouTube video is, so we need to uh, point it to the YouTube video that we want to, to embed in our PowerPoint screen. So let me switch over to uh, YouTube. I've got YouTube running here, and I've got a video here that I would like office. to use. Everyone, please rise. And this is the um, 2010 inauguration oath of office by President Obama. Now, traditionally, we would look at using share options down here and using embed code. Um, and this, if this not working, uh, what we would do now is select the web address from the uh, top of your browser window. So the youtube.com forward slash watch that web address there. So I'm just going to select that, right click and copy and switch back to PowerPoint. I now have the web address of the video, not the embed code mind, it's the web address. So I want to tell this object here the web address. So select the object and then right click on it. Right click on it until you get the pop-up which shows property sheet here in the center. And that gives you a long list of properties of this particular shockwave flash object. The one you're looking for is towards the center here called movie. So if you click in the box to the right of that and then right click and paste in the web address that you've just copied from YouTube. You can read the youtube.com web address that's there. Now you're not quite finished. There's a couple of things you need to change to this address here before it would work. First of all, uh, towards the end, just in front of the, the uh, letter and alphanumeric code here, there is the equal sign. So I'm going to delete that equal sign and change it to a forward slash. Keep the V that's here, but the word watch with the question mark must be deleted. So I am changing the equal sign to a forward slash and deleting watch question mark altogether. Click outside that and then I can close down that window. So it's got the uh, uh, web address with the modifications that we need. Now you still can't see anything here, uh, but I'm going to run the slideshow. So I click the slideshow icon on the bottom right hand side here. The video is displayed where I put it on my screen. I can play it here. And I've got um, volume controls, I can move forward, um, I can pause, I can rewind. I've got the usual controls uh, that I would expect to have uh, for my video embedded in the uh, PowerPoint presentation. So that's a workaround using the developer tools for embedding a YouTube video into your PowerPoint presentation. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.